Okay, there's a few more things I just kind of wanted to touch upon. Um, some things I've learned through experience. I mean, you can take it or leave it, but... This is uh, game design theory. Some theory that we believe in. Something we strongly believe, and it goes back to not being overly ambitious. We believe that the design should not get too far ahead of the implementation. Uh, I'm sure... I'm, I know there are plenty of people who disagree with this, but we don't want to plan... We have a broad view of the project, but we don't want to plan everything too far ahead for the sole reason of not wanting to be overly ambitious. You know, we want to leave room for later we can come in and change things. We can add as we go, you know. This would be cool here. There's things that you, uh, you can't see if they work or don't work until after they're in the game, you know. And there's some things that may or may not work correctly if you plan it before other things have been implemented. Uh, there's just a bunch of reasons, and if you have the whole game planned out, and things aren't going well, you're not up to your, your goals, you know, it's, it's a motivation killer. And we, that's something that we don't want to do. We don't want to look too far ahead of where we are currently. We try and finish things and introduce new things as we go. And at the same time, there are a lot of projects where people aren't very far along in them. I'm, I'm sure you know some, some people, some teams like this. They're not far at all, and they have entire websites, entire pages, sections dedicated to their storylines, how the game is going to be when it's done. I, I think that is being, like, way overly ambitious. That's something... We're not even going to tell you guys what, what we're calling the game yet, partially because we're not certain, and partially because we're just not ready to release that. We're not telling you guys the storyline. I don't come on here and I don't say, we are going to be doing this. I show you what we are doing for the reason that we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We're not, we're not going to be promising things that we can't do. We try and show off what we've done, not what we hope to accomplish. Because we don't want to be getting too far ahead of ourselves. And that's something I recommend you all do. Because in the past, I haven't done that. And it's never worked out. I see projects all the time that do that. I mean, sure, it feels good for the publicity, you know, everybody's saying, oh, that's really cool, uh, that looks awesome, but when it comes down to it at the end of the day, you really haven't achieved anything other than talking about what you'd like to do. I think you need to step up and do it before you actually go off and start advertising or talking about what you plan to do. Uh, alrighty. I think that I've pretty much achieved what I set out to do. Uh, Clear up some misconceptions, uh, hopefully educate some people. Maybe not, I don't know. I had a huge list of things I wanted to discuss. And even now I'm sure I forgot a bunch of things. You can leave a comment and uh, I'll see if I can answer your question or personal message me or, you know, Marcel, Peter, Marauder, DJ Yoshi, they all check the uh, comments and we'll, we'll try and answer your questions. Okay, on the uh, subject of helping you guys, um, I get a lot of people from AIM, MSN, all sorts of things asking if they can send me code and I'll look through it. There are hundreds of lines of code and find their errors and all that. And No, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. You can make me look like an asshole. I don't care. I'm, I work 10 hours a day. I barely have time to work on my own projects. There are forums, other people who can help you. Just Google it. Uh, like I, Every time someone asks me a theoretical question, something I can answer without spending hours doing it, I type people two-page responses when they ask those kind of questions. But if it's just something that you're too lazy to Google or find out yourself, I'm sorry, I'm not a cheap whore. I'm not going gonna, not gonna to be doing that. Um, but I'll answer any other questions, so I guess maybe I'm still a whore, but... Just not that kind. But I'll tell you someone who might answer that kind of question. Her name is Lucica Mage, and she's been making some very nice game development videos. And I think every one of you need to subscribe to her right now, because uh, I've seen her clearly want to help people. And she's knowledgeable, and she's not an asshole like I am. And yeah, subscribe to her right now, seriously. 
go do it. I'll put a link, like, somewhere, and subscribe. She also has videos about, um, uh, game development in Allegro. You know, some actually very useful things that you guys, have, I think, it, I should probably link to that. And I plan on doing so. Uh, that pretty much concludes this movie, though, you know. Uh, we may, we may make another one sometime, depending on, uh, if this actually helps people. Uh, let me know what you thought, if you have any questions, anything like that. Uh, yeah, it was a pleasure. Um, I'm going to sleep. I'm tired.